and, and we're twins. twins. Guess what we're making today, guys? Take a wild guess. Chocolate chip muffins. All right, so you can get ready, maybe wash your hands, and if you want, you could put on some neat aprons like we did. Yeah. Folks, so first off, we're going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, we gotta press the big button first. Go up, up, up. Almost there. Okay, so I'm gonna go over the ingredients. Here we have flour. This is two cups of flour. You have different options like whole wheat flour is a healthy one. This is cake flour. You can use regular white flour. This is sugar. We have half cup of sugar. Um, we're actually gonna use stevia, so this is stevia. It's like a healthier alternative. Um, but you can use something fancy like raw sugar if you want, or just regular sugar. Baking soda, uh, we have one tablespoon. And salt, we have Himalayan salt, but any salt works. This is half a teaspoon. And this is chocolate chips. Um, we have about a third cup, but it's up to you. Moving on to our wet ingredients, guys. We have half teaspoon vanilla extract, one large egg, one cup of almond milk. Mind you, when you're measuring wet ingredients, you have to observe on eye level, put it on flat surface, and see if it reaches the line, one cup. And there you go, one cup of almond milk. And we have a quarter cup of olive oil. A quarter cup. <laughs> but you can use canola oil or vegetable oil. We use olive oil in this instance. Moving on to your equipment. Of course, we need a muffin tray, a spreading knife. Now, we already measured our ingredients, but just for demonstrating to you guys, uh, we just measured it and then used the spreading, the back of the spreading knife to uh, what, um, kind of take off the top part. So then we have the exact measurement. Level it. Exactly, level it. And then you have your measuring spoons, your muffin cups, a red funky spatula, an ice cream scoop. This is for scooping the batter in the muffin cups. We have a whisk and we have a large bowl for the dry ingredients and a small bowl for the wet ingredients. Also, you will need to spray the muffin cups with I, with a non-stick non -stick cooking spray. We use all, co Pam's coconut oil, but if you don't have it, you can just dip your brush in oil and spread it in your oh, cup. For our oven to preheat, go ahead and line up your muffin tray with your muffin cup. Sure. So go ahead, take your non-stick spray or your brush. Carefully spray, don't <laughs> spray on your face. Or make sure no one's around. All right. Start off with your dry ingredients. So take your big bowl. And then, go ahead, Daisy. Okay. So I'm gonna start with flour. I'm gonna go ahead and dump that in here. Boom. And the sugar, or in our case, stevia. Good. And then the baking soda or baking powder. Baking powder. Boom. I think some sugar went in my mouth. I taste sugar. And then the salt, or our fancy Himalayan salt. And then let's mix it with the whisk. You see my whisk and I'm gonna go ahead and mix it like so. Mix, mix. So just make sure it's good, not, um, nice and combined. And then moving on to your wet ingredients. Go ahead, pour your almond milk in here. Your oil. Vanilla extract. Always clean up your mess, everyone. See? And large egg. One thing I learned is that it's easier to crack the egg on like a thinner ridge. We learned that the hard way. See, this has a thick ridge, so it makes it harder. Yay! Awesome! The other day we cracked the egg, it didn't turn out so great. But this one turned out good. <laughs> Go ahead, mix it. And then, 
add the wet and the dry together. They belong together. Get your full spatula. We have our red one here. And gently and carefully fold the dry in the wet. So once it's pretty much all completely <laughs> blended together, go ahead, grab your choco chips. Choco or, chips. Or if you want cinnamon, oats, dried fruit. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop these in the muffin tray. I think a bit over half of the spoon will be good. So we're gonna go ahead and scoop some and plop them right in the muffin tin. Like so. I would suggest making your scoops just somewhat smaller so it takes less time to bake. Well, take a look. Perfect timing. We've reached 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So why don't we go ahead and pop the muffins in the oven. As you can see, I'm practicing safe behavior by wearing oven mitts. These ones are special because they let me put both my hands in very easily. And that's very important to use both hands for hot foods and bakery. So, open the door. Get your muffins. Pop them in the oven. So this recipe calls for 20 minutes. We're gonna turn our timer on. I don't know about your oven, but for mine, we just press the arrow until we reach 20. Well, as you can see, we've reached the end. So we're gonna take our oven mitt. I just used my single one because I need one hand. And you can get either a toothpick or a kebab. We use a kebab just because it's easier. It's longer, which makes it easier. Open up your oven. Stick it in the middle of your muffin. Now, if the kebab or toothpick is wet, it still needs to be cooked. If it's dry, it's done. So it is dry. And take out your muffins. Ooh, those look good. So put it on the cooling rack. Close your muffin uh, oven. What you're going to do next is let it cool on the rack for 10 minutes and then take the muffins out of the tray and put them on your rack to let it cool completely. You officially made your own chocolate chip or whatever you made muffins. Ta-da! All right, uh, hopefully we can all share them with the people around us because sharing is caring. We're out. See you next time. I can't do a heart because I'm happy. Yay! <laughs>